Hey there guys, Aldershot here, and today we're going to do an early look into Dear God, developed by Josh Presian. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, I'm really sorry if I am, uh, but anyways, what is Dear God? Well, it's essentially a side-scrolling 2D uh, platform survival game, to put it in a nutshell, but Dear God's a lot more than just that. Uh, you're actually playing as a deer that's rearing, that's growing up, trying to be healthy and strong. Uh, and your whole goal is to eat a lot of food so you can grow up, have babies, and continue with life. That's essentially the premise of Dear God. Quite a unique concept, if you ask me. Alright, so let's dive into the game and explore the game into a, in, in a little bit more detail. Alright, so when you start, you do start as a youngling, you know, just a baby deer. Uh, so you're going to want to kind of go around the world, collecting foods, eating it, you know, so you can grow up to be a nice, healthy, strong buck. That's really the end goal of this game. Uh, and as you can see, it's really about exploring and finding foods while exploring predators like this fox here. Uh, currently in this current build, uh, there is no attacks, so you're really just going to have to uh, avoid the mobs, at least in this current build. Uh, and I do want to remind everybody that this is a very, very early demo. All right, this isn't early access. This isn't alpha or beta. This is actually just an early demo showcasing the game's concept and uh, you know the potential that this game might have. All right, so do keep that in mind. Uh, the final version will have a lot more features, in which we'll get more into later on down the road. But anyways, as you can see, it's really about surviving, uh, avoiding dangers like fires. A forest fire for example and predators of course and you're just really gonna want to oh it looks like we gathered enough food to grow up to the next stage of our life uh, so you're really just gonna want to survive and keep exploring the world and the world is randomly generated as well there's some procedural generation going on here and that will definitely help keep things interesting on replays uh, so if you do die it is permadeath essentially uh, but if you do have an offspring if you grow up old enough to have offsprings uh, you can actually continue playing after death as your uh, as your children essentially and we're very close to death oh god we fell into spikes <laughs> so there you go we just died so we're gonna start over as a child again uh, so that's basically the concept of the game which is kind of interesting uh, again, currently there's no attacks or anything like that. There's a good few stage. I think you can grow up all the way to be a buck. Uh, later on in the game, according to the notes that I've received, there will be further stages. And the whole story of this game is that you're a hunter that got turned into a deer. And as you play through the game, you kind of have to make up your mind whether you want to become a human again or not. Uh, something along the lines of that. So that's kind of an interesting background to the game. Uh, but I'm perfectly on, on, honestly, I'm perfectly okay with just a deer simulator. <laughs> uh, the game's concept is actually quite unique. Uh, essentially, you're just kind of playing the the lifetime of a deer, and uh, you, the whole goal is to kind of have a family, so you know you don't end up dying for good and all that sort of stuff. So the premise is really, really interesting, and uh, as you can see, the game is gorgeous looking. This is some of the best 2.5D pixel art that I've seen in a long time. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous game. I don't know if you guys can hear it. But the atmospheric music is quite soothing as well. Uh, this game really has a visual and audio quality already going for it. Not just the style and the quality of the pixel art that's good, but the animation itself is actually quite good. And animating quad pedal creatures can be quite difficult. And we keep dying to spikes. God damn it. <laughs> Anyways, let's, let's keep trying. Yes, why not? Uh, so the game is quite gorgeous. The audio is quite nice as well. 
And I have to say, even as just a early demo, not even as an early access or an alpha, this game is already quite enjoyable. I'm already having a lot of fun exploring the game, uh, seeing what the world has to offer. As in the current version, there's already multiple biomes that you can run into and explore. And I do believe in the notes I've received, there will be even more biomes that will randomly generate as you play through the game. So exploration is going to be a big part of Dear God from the looks of it. I believe it, uh, exploration might very well be the main incentive to keep playing the game. So I do hope they do come up with a good few amounts of biomes and different random set pieces that the player can explore and discover. That will definitely help the replayability of this game, I do believe. Oh, I th hopefully, I think we're old enough to mate. Let's see, yes we are, excellent. We can have ourselves a nice offspring. So if we die to spikes again, we won't go back into the menu. Excellent. All right, so yeah, that's that's really the whole game is to kind of, you know, find your your place in the world. Uh, uh oh, I think our offspring might have fell into spikes because they do follow you, so you do gotta be careful about that. That's all right. We'll just have another one. Yes, we're uh, we're a bit of a promiscuous uh, deer. <laughs> Monogamy is not really a part of deer nature, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I have to say, it's this game is pretty fun in its current state already. Uh, and again, I, I you know I got a few notes on future features and developments for this game. Uh, it's going to feature ooh hunters, bad hunters. Oh god, they're shooting at me! <laughs> Run away! Uh, it is going to feature more enemies, uh, another stage of elf life, I guess you could say. Uh, and more biomes, more special features, an attack for the deers, uh, special abilities as well. If I may suggest, if the developer is uh, watching, uh, if I can suggest maybe somehow kind of genetically encoding different traits of different deers that you become. Kind of like Rogue Legacy or maybe The Sims, something along the lines of that. I think that would make things very, very interesting. Uh, but anyways, I digress. Uh, the, again, the game is actually again quite enjoyable in this early state. I'm, I'm having fun just trying to survive as long as possible, trying to grow up and not die and exploring what this current world has to offer. So I think the premise and the concept of this game is ingenious and quite unique. Uh, it definitely mixes things up from the usual survival game genre. Uh, this is definitely one of the few 2D platform survival games that I've seen. So if they market this game as a survival game and can really, really focus in on some survival mechanics... Oh, we just died. <laughs> I think this game has a place in gamers' libraries. So when you die, you do get this kind of weird sort of screen going on. And here we are being rebirthed as our child. Alright, and we can continue playing. Alright. Uh, so yeah, there you go guys. That's basically Dear God. It's it's a platform survival game where you play as a deer trying to grow up big and strong. Uh, and also, it looks friggin' gorgeous. I mean, just look at it. It is a good looking game. Whether or not you're going to be interested in this type of game, you have to admit the game does look very unique and very pretty, if nothing else. Alright, so there you go, guys. That's Dear God. Definitely keep an eye on it. Oh, I should also mention the tentative release schedule as well. I did get notes on that. September, they expect to hit Alpha. November, they expect to hit Beta. And uh, January of 2015, they expect a full release. So do look forward to that. And I should also mention that this was kickstarted very successfully. They had a very successful Kickstarter. And they've already been successfully uh, greenlit on Steam as well. So do expect to see Dear God on Steam sometime in the near future as well. So that will be it for this video. Quite enjoyable. Uh, very, very much looking forward to a more finalized version of this game. Uh, I'll be keeping an eye on Dear God, and I think you guys should too. It's, it's a pretty interesting game. That's for sure. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys found this informative. If you did, you know, show me some love, like, share, fave, and comments. Uh, and I just died. <laughs> uh, and as always, I am Aldershot. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for watching. Aldershot out.